Hello band members, this is a tutorial on how to take a smart music assessment. Remember, to take a smart music assessment at home or on any computer that has smart music installed, you have to have a smart music home subscription. If you don't have a home subscription, you'll be able to take your smart music assessment at school in a practice room. Once you open smart music, you will begin with this smart music home page. In the upper right hand corner, click log in. Here you will have a place to type in your email address or username and password. Then you'll click log in. This student is enrolled in two different classes. You will probably just be enrolled in one. For a tutorial on how to enroll in the correct smart music class, please see other videos on either the YouTube Digital Band Guide channel or on the Fire Prairie Upper Elementary School YouTube channel. Today I'll be a fifth grade student, so I will click on fifth grade beginning band. There are several different windows here with different information that you will find from your director. Today I'm concerned only with my assignments, which in this case will be an assessment from the director. I'll click on the song I wish to play today. In the next window you find different bits of information on the assignment itself as well as your teacher's instructions. Read those carefully because there may be information on what instrument to play it on or different articulations you need to watch out for different uh, dynamics, all kinds of different information you could find from your director. Be sure to click mic check so that the microphone level is automatically set. Smart Music will help you set your microphone level. Attach your microphone as shown. This will show a different picture for any of the different instruments that you could play. Then click next. Play the music. Be sure to continue to play until you get the bing and the check mark. Now click continue. I'm now ready to play the assessment. One thing to note, here where it says tempo, that means musical speed, it's set for a certain speed. Your director may set that to be any tempo that you want, or he may set it that you can go faster or slower. In this case, the student can go faster but if they slow it down too much, you receive an alert saying that the settings have been changed and you cannot send in the assessment. So I'm going to reset it to a tempo that's a, where it was, and now I'm ready to play. I start by clicking Start Take, which will give me a four beat count off. My score has automatically been generated and found here. This is a percentage of accuracy of pitches and the rhythm. I can continue taking assessments over and over again until I get the score I want. I can see all of my scores by clicking on the drop down box by my takes. Be sure to click on the one that you want before you hit submit. When I hit submit, it automatically saves my recording it saves my screenshot and then it's going to send all of the information on my assessment to my teacher's gradebook. Now I've completed it. Remember that when you practice with smart music you want to practice not only your assessment but also from the method book. Your method book will be found here in my library. Practice all of the songs from your assessment from your assignment every day. Thanks a lot and have a great time practicing in smart music.